everybody! Hello! Welcome to Red Carpet Fashionistas, your weekly do's and don'ts for red carpet fashion. Today we're going to be talking about a little black dress on the media gala that we were at. Yep, and it was an event where we took all of the media from all around Los Angeles and did a sort of like recognition ceremony and we're like, thank you for being around exactly. and all this kind of fun stuff. So, it was cool. Where would we be without the media? Totally. So <laughs> good, good media. Not Well, I mean, paparazzi's okay, but they're pretty hardcore. But like red carpet media, like they're really cool. You guys are awesome. We love you. So let's talk about your dress, and actually you also kind of wore half white, half black. Kind of, except it was more of a cream color. And I had to be careful when I tried that dress on because I am very like light skinned and so I didn't want to look like I was just like naked. That's true, that's but true. But it was the, it was enough of a difference to where you can tell like, okay, she's not naked, like she's actually wearing a dress, which I'm sure a lot of I people out there would be happy if I was naked on the red carpet, but we're not going to go there on this show. Why do you think you have to be careful with cream though, as opposed to white, like because of your skin? If it's too close to your skin tone, It'll just kind of look like... That's true, that's true. You, like, this was fine. This was good. But I've tried on things before where I, I, I try it on and I look at it and I'm like, ooh, I don't know, that looks like it's the same color. If you look, I'm wearing this cute little fishy ring. It's so cute. I know. I found it. I did this really cute thing with my hair where I, I used gel and I kind of crimped it. And I think it worked. It's kind of crimpy and cute. It's not, like, straight or curly, Where but do you think you crimpy. could wear your hairstyle like that? Because I can't envision, personally, that type of hairstyle with, like, a long gown. So I don't think I would wear the crimpy hair with, like, a long ball gown. I don't think I would wear the crimpy hair if I was going to, like, the Oscars or something like that. I think it's kind of cute, though, for that kind of young, just kind of, like, flirty, like, oh, I just hopped out of the shower, put on this dress, came to a red carpet, look, you know, just something really cute like that. But, yeah, definitely, I, I would probably consider, okay, if I'm wearing crimpy hair, which dress, which mm -hmm. dress crimpy hair, like, I would probably consider it. And Let's also it consider what the red carpet was for. It was for appreciating media. So That's we true. weren't there to, like, be like, I'm the fabulous actress of this new film. And we weren't there for, like, you know, I'm here to support my favorite director and his new endeavor. What's with the deeper voice? Because people in Hollywood talk like this, darling. It was, it That's was, like, let's true. all get together and hang out and, like, promote media yay I mean it was more of a fun light type of, of okay. ceremony situation so I think when it comes to that like you can do less makeup you can do you know don't look ugly don't like show up wearing a disgusting dress but I don't think that's what we're telling them but <laughs> I mean you can go a little less right sometimes less is more that's true less is always more sometimes but it's not always more sometimes depending more. on what it, what the event is I mean guys would say less is more well, of course they would. I mean, what guy do you know would not say less is more? No, please, baby. Cover it up. Wear a total neck. I don't want to see anything. Really want to be with a guy like that? No. <laughs> I was wearing a little black dress mm -hmm. that I would bought actually online. So I wasn't even at a store when I bought the dress. I saw it online. Wow, that's pretty... So that's, that's chancing it there. That was chancing it, and that was also very new to me because I have never done anything like that before. But for a lot of ones, if you try it on and you don't like it, you can return it, and they'll exchange it or give you your money back, right? Well, yes. I'm abnormal. What can I say? <laughs> we know that. I actually purchased this dress because when I saw it online, it looked like the... Uh, black version of the Marilyn Monroe dress. Ooh, um, and Marilyn Monroe is very popular right now. <laughs> she's always popular. Well, what you, you know, but like about? right now, right now, just like right now, right now, right now. It's the black version of the white dress <laughs> that she was wearing in, I believe the movie was, um, oh, what was, oh, The Seven Year Itch. That was the movie. Seven Year Itch. It's called The Seven Year Itch. All right. Look, it wasn't my decision to okay. name it The Seven Year Itch. Well, well, anyways. So, so <laughs> I think it looks very successful on you. I think it really matches, like, your coloring Thank and your you. skin tone. I'm just curious, kind of, what's going on with your hair there? What's... Okay, it was a very windy day. Uh, I wasn't very careful, so mm -hmm. my hair got a little bit frizzy. You know, that it, happens. It, you just never know when you're going to go to a carpet if it's going to be windy or not. And sometimes yeah. you're like, well, it's kind of windy, but then you get there and it's really windy, and you're like, oh my gosh. And then you really have a Marilyn Monroe it's, thing going on with the dress. Woo! And then the <laughs> photographers are like, hey! And you're like, oh my gosh! So you have to be really careful about that. The wind took my hair, and it could ruin an outfit. One time I, I did go to a red carpet event and it was outside and it was a little windy and this one girl she did she was not wearing waterproof mascara and her her eyeliner was like all running and her mascara was running and she just was a huge rock and I'm like sorry it, I chose an all black outfit that night with the black bracelet the black shoes you can take that black dress and actually wear it to any type of gala any type of event 
um, anything for the holidays. If you wore a shoe that's gold color that's sparkly, it's not going to look as good as a silver shoe that's sparkly with the black outfit. Why? She's wearing gold, but the shirt that you have on is also a gold color as well with black. Mm. So it's not just all black, it's... Mm -hmm. It's... Well, well, what do you think? Yeah, no, what yeah, tell thinking? it. Yeah, whatever she said. Uh-huh, 100%. It's because I'm always right. Right. So <laughs> Except that one time. When, and then the other night we were out, you said something and you were wrong, and then... I, I think I'm always right. Wait, is, I don't know, are I always right? Is that the deal? I don't, I don't, I don't think anybody That's cares. That's what I always tell guys. Right. I'm always right. And they're like, yeah, see? So. My tip of the day is when all else fails or you don't know what to wear in your wardrobe of, like, thousands of clothes... Uh, it sounds weird. When you're like me and you have, like, 500 dresses to wear and you don't know which one to wear and you're, like, having one of those days... Exactly. Just wear black. When I'm having one of those days, I go for my little black dress. But what if and you're having one of those days every day? Make sure you have five different kinds of little black dresses <laughs> and wear different types of accessories. I'm like, wow, this girl always shows up wearing black and it's the same black dress. Well, you know, a lot Someone of people... needs to go shopping. You know what? A lot of people think black is exotic looking. It is. So, no, totally. So it's you'll beautiful. always you'll always be the bell ball in black. Bell ball in black? Bell, bell of the ball in black. What does that mean? The bell of the ball. It means like you, people will always look at you like you, oh. you know, like you're the bell. You're the beauty of the ball. It means beauty in French. Oh, that's awesome. Dated a lot of French guys. She knows all these like cool French words. My tip of the day is sometimes less is more. Definitely. You don't always have to be the bell of the ball. Like you can seriously just show up and less is more. Maybe when it's your makeup or your hair or your. You don't always just have to be like, look at me, I'm fabulous. Sometimes less is more. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great time until we see you next.